So have you ever wanted to stream with your friends? And no, I don't mean streaming with them on a Discord call and playing a game together. I mean being able to pull in their gameplay feed and their face cam feed in separately and be able to mix between these different sources. Well, that's what we're gonna do today in the lab. And if you like stream tech tutorials like this, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out, but let's get it started. All right, so the foundation that this is all built on is Video Ninja. Video Ninja is a free open source software for basically sending video and audio signals. We did a whole guide on getting started with it. You can see it in the link above or in the description. But basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna set up a room and you're gonna wanna be the director. And then you're gonna wanna enable pro audio mode and up to 1080p 60 FPS. But only do this if you have a lot of bandwidth and your friends have a lot of bandwidth. Otherwise it won't work. Make sure they're on wired connections as well. And then you're gonna give your friends the invite link and make sure to let them know that they're basically gonna be using this link twice because they need to send a feed for their gameplay and a feed for their face cam. And that's all you need to configure it. Now let's go into how you set it up for your friends or your guests. All right, so your guests are gonna have to do a bit of setup. So we're gonna be using Expert Broadcaster as a sort of video mixer and splitter and Video Ninja is gonna be able to send these signals. So they need to use a Chrome browser. This works best with Video Ninja. And then an Expert Broadcaster set up two scenes. So on scene one, do their gameplay capture. You know, just use game source or screen capture. And then on scene two, do their webcam capture. So just add their webcam as a source or face cam or however they do it. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that the audio setting in Expert Broadcaster that the system sound is set to default so it can capture the gameplay audio. And then you're gonna wanna mute the microphone in XSplit capture or just remove the microphone source in general. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send the gameplay feed first. So in the output section of XSplit Broadcaster, set the virtual camera output to a specific scene and set it to the gameplay scene. Then you're gonna go into Video Ninja. This is the first one. And you're gonna set the video source as the Expert Broadcaster virtual camera. So it's sending the gameplay video. And then you're gonna set the microphone as the Expert Broadcaster virtual microphone. So now it'll be sending gameplay sound and video and just start that and send that out. Next, let's send out the face cam. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna create a projector window in Expert Broadcaster and they'll project out the scene onto the window with the face cam. Then you're gonna open up the next Video Ninja option. This is the next Video Ninja window. And in this, you're gonna to wanna to do actually screen capture. So you're gonna screen capture the projector window. So now it'll be capturing the face cam. And then you're gonna to wanna to set as audio source, the microphone, whatever they use to talk and chat to, so it'll send their voice audio. And that's pretty much it from the guest side. That's all they need to set up. All right, so on the host side, they have a bit of an easier time. So in the Video Ninja director's feed, you'll see all the different video feeds coming in. So all you need to do is copy these URLs and add them as browser sources and expert broadcaster. Then you can switch between them as you like. Now, you probably want to change the audio output of the browser source to stream only. Otherwise, you'll hear your friend's gameplay and their voice chat on top of yours. So you probably don't want to hear that. You probably just want to hear them like through whatever, whatever voice calling software you're using and hear your own gameplay. So that's a good way to route that. And you can mix and match the different audio levels as well. So you can add as many of your friends as your internet connection and PC can handle. It does take a bit of resources to, you know, decode in these feeds. But if you have any questions on how this setup works, leave them in the comments. Let me know. I'd be happy to help. And thanks again for watching and see you on the next one.